for today's agenda, um, my terror, one well, mindset of terror, or like basically cards came in today. I was not expecting this, but um, I told myself I was gonna play um, Final Fantasy today um, earlier on at 1 p.m. my time. Like, I, I told myself, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play Final Fantasy later. Uh, but instead, I <laughs> ended up editing Monday's highlight videos instead. Uh, I already finished the 7 hour highlights, uh, so there's that on the Twitch channel. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that on uh, YouTube later on a different timing, but yeah, anyways. Um, moving on. So yes, my tarot cards are here today. Um, I'm gonna- I haven't, um, you know, opened it up completely yet, so I'm gonna have a hand cam stream today just to open the cards, look through the cards. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do any readings today, because I wasn't sure. I don't really have a topic of um, what kind of tarot readings I can do, TBH. I just wanted to, like, feel the cards, look at the cards, like, look through it. Uh, I, I usually do this off camera, like, I don't- show tarot cards on stream uh because like there's how do you say i'm not a professional <laughs> so i feel bad if someone were to ask me for a professional reading even though it's live on stream um i can't provide them like i provide you know readings for my friends but it's a bit scuffy if a stranger asks me for a reading it's 5 p.m. currently. Um, I already ate food today, so I'm free to go all uh, all night talking about tarot. Maybe or like maybe do some random reading, or just after this, I'll play a bit of like Final Fantasy <laughs> as suggested to myself uh, today. Uh, it's a very calming start, but let's be honest. That's how it's gonna be. It's gonna start out easy and calm, and then six, three hours later from now, it's probably not as calm as this. <laughs> but like, enjoy the first few minutes of the calm as we dive into the new set of cards I bought. Uh, I might show off some of my other cards that I already own, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. It's calm for now, it's calm for now. Just chill for now. <sighs> I hope you all enjoy the the summer, <laughs> the summer ambience. As if um, living in Southeast Asia wasn't bad enough, you know, having to be reminded of the summer noises, <laughs> of the you know the cars outside your room, your house. Have a bit of like you know that anime summer ambience, as um your calming background noise as I look through the cards. Uh, TBH, uh, is that good? Oh, okay, personally, I think it's a good idea to play the summer noise background to set like a background ambience because if I'm correct, this set of tarot cards are Polaroid pictures, like their themes are Polaroid themed. Basically, the card shape and design is Polaroid themed, as well as most of the locations in these pictures are mostly scener scenery based ones. Like they don't have like the very traditional tarot card designs, like with a lot of meanings. Like oh you see the design, it means a specific thing. Um based on like the book itself, or not book, but the summary of the cards. It's supposed to be um like a nostalgia trip, like when you look at the cards, you're supposed to feel some sort of nostalgia or like a feeling of it takes you back to the old times. So it's a very nostalgic based cards. Um, I only seen one um, tarot card reader uh, from YouTube use this card set and I was like, ooh, interesting. Um, I've been recently looking at like some videos and not videos, but like um, some more like tutorials or teaching videos uh, stating about like, oh, when you pick your tarot cards, you have to pick with your intuition. Um, I have a lot of cards which I picked out of intuition, and then the Polaroid cards, like this Polaroid tarot cards, um, aside from 
the design looking nice. Uh, I'm not sure if my intuition is okay about this, but I've been looking for a set of tarot, like a new set of tarot for quite some time, and then this was like the card set that I guess you can say spoke to me, or more of the fact that I got interested in purchasing. Um, whoever is listening is ever interested, or maybe on Twitter, uh, someone's interested, I'll post the thing, or I basically will write out the name of the tarot cards. Like, anyways, I'm gonna change to... Wait, where the fuck do I stand my star starting screen? Okay, it's already begun. Oh. This is like... Okay, here you go. Uh, I'm also gonna be turning off um, the alert noises. Uh, I don't know. I guess you can use this as an ASMR. I don't fucking know why and how. But like, yeah, I'm gonna turn off my alert noises so it doesn't spook anyone if they hear them. Because I do have some alert noises that um, are quite loud. But like, yeah, anyways, uh, enjoy the minutes of me looking through the cards and, you know, assessing them live. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I, I just thought like maybe it's a nice start to my career of incorporating tarot card readings into my streams, even though I don't have anything much to read. I want to learn how to do like general um, public readings, but like, I still need to learn. Uh, I'm still learning. It's still a learning curve. But like, anyways, um, let's change to my hand cam. Bam. <laughs> oh my god, the VTuber has hands. But like, yeah, that's that's my hands. I finally can go back to um hand cam stream because uh my my Monday stream I already stated um as to you know my reasonings behind this, like what I'm planning to do moving forward, uh streaming on this channel as my quote unquote second channel. Uh, as my laid back channel, so um, if you haven't, um, oh, okay, basically, I, I'm assuming everyone has never been there on Monday. Um, I stated that I'm planning to move my VTuber career to a separate Twitch channel so I can have a better space for this channel. Is that exactly? So uh, I can be more laid back here, I can do a lot of more um, content here that I wanted to do. But I couldn't do because of the VTuber culture, as I can say. And there's a lot of uh, culture, not really obvious cultural things, but there are just some things that you have to read between the lines to understand that it's kind of like a taboo in the VTuber um, scene that you're not supposed to um, do hand can streams and stuff. Like all these things are you're not supposed to do. Um, just to immerse people more. But since I'm moving all that into a separate channel, I'm going to return to like all this hand cam streams and stuff. Uh, I hear ambulance outside. The sound of sirens outside. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to, you know, go back to hand cam streams, hand oriented based stuff. Uh, I won't say I'm going back to Pokemon card opening because fuck that shit, that's very expensive. Um, but maybe I'll do embroidery. I had I do have an embroidery set. Um, I used to be okay, not used to be, but like I'm low key in the keyboard community hobby, so maybe I'll make fix a keyboard or something like this keyboard I have. Um, I'll move my tarot card. Uh, this is the tarot card I'm actually gonna open later. Uh, it's still packaged, uh, still sealed and stuff. So like I'm gonna open this later. Uh, but like my keyboard, this set. Uh. It's a custom keyboard I built by myself. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, it's not 100% of a custom. Okay. Um, the keycaps are not group order. Um, these are keycaps you can buy off of Alibi or Taobao. Hey, these keycaps you can buy like very um, anywhere. So they are not those uh, Gucci custom keycaps. Um, the base itself is a group buy. Um, you can't actually get- I don't think you can actually get it. Oh my god. Hi. Uh, hi, I'll try. Enjoy the calming music for now, before- um, I'm, I'm turning off my tarot cards today. Um, I first stream might be later. By the way, I have hands now. Hi. 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 <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, so, by the hand can stream, um, you can see my shadow as well. Uh, so yeah, I was like saying, uh, this this keyboard is a custom keyboard I made by myself. 
Yeah, immersion loss. Hell oh, yeah. But that's that's the point anyways. That's the point anyways. So this custom key uh, these keyboards are custom. Um you like can I don't I don't think you can see it, but like if you know where this is from, you'll you'll know why I mean by this is a custom one. Um I don't think they are doing any more group buys for this one because like it took a fucking year. Um people who are part of the keyboard industry uh the industry uh scene, the keyboard hobby scene will know how long it usually group buys take. Um so yeah, this this one, the the shell the, the, the keyboard set, I'm not sure you can get it anymore, at least for the outer shell. Um this set came with um Black inks, I think they're, they're those are what they're called. Uh, black ink switches plus uh, their own special custom key keycap set. Uh, but I removed the keycap set and changed it for a cheaper keycap set <laughs> uh, because like I I had I, I wanted it to have like a nice design. So this was like the outcome of it all. Um, I do have a. <laughs> I also do have this one as well. Uh, this is a solder on one. The, this one's a hot swap. This is a solder one. I don't think it's gonna pick up, but like, oh fuck, <laughs> uh, ASMR, kick ASMR. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, this is also I did it myself. Uh, I rarely use this, but usually I use this for like games. Like I just play games like this. Uh, sometimes it was I did that for like quite some time, but like uh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. So maybe I might do a custom keyboard on stream. I I bought. A, a custom uh, set last year. I mean, okay. Let's be honest here. When you're in the keyboard hobby scene, the term I bought this last year is gonna come up every time because that's how long group buys are. They take a year. Let's be honest. Keyboard the, the keyboard scene. You buy something last year, it's gonna come to you the next year. Or worse to worse, the end of next year. <laughs> Which means if I bought something June last year, it's most likely gonna come December this year. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, um, it's gonna be, it's calm for now. I'm being very, very calm for now because it's only like 13 minutes into stream. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I have nothing else to say. Um, other than like, okay, showing off whatever fuck I have on my hands. Like, I, I wore I wore rings today. Because like, oh, I was like showing, like, I'm going to have a hand cam stream, might as well, like, ooh, wear my rings. If not, I usually don't. I usually don't wear anything on my hands when I do any of my tarot readings or look at my shit, but like, I was like, you know, why not? Um, you know the idea of like, dress to impress? <laughs> I'm going to be on, on like, you know, hand cam stream, might as well, might as well. But like, anyways, um, I got like a crystal necklace here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be using for this, but like, it's, it's just there for show. It's just there. Because like, you know, of course, tarot card reading had something to do with crystals. Um, I can't say if this is like, real, but um, you know, you believe it, you believe it. Close enough. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, you, you, okay, how do you say it? On Monday, I, I said uh, things around the lines of like I'm applying for my psych major so I don't know what's wrong with uh, my Wednesday today uh, I can say like today is a day of a lot of message being delivered a lot of things delivered to me so I just got informed by my um, court okay I can call them my coordinator um, to you know get me over to the school to start my course um, they just emailed me my student contract so I'm already uh, kind of half settled in, so yeah, uh, I just finished signing the documents for it. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of scuffed because I did it midstream. <laughs> I, I didn't anticipate this, okay? I was informed like um, somewhere around this week I was supposed to get it, but they didn't state how long, they just stated somewhere around this week is all I knew. Um, so yeah, that was a bit scuff. Um, today's stream is a bit scuffy, not gonna lie, but it's fine. We're, we're um, getting used to the impromptu situations. But anyways, I'm not sure if this is gonna pick up. Yeah, I guess it picked up, but like, the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard, the keycap set. Uh, 
Let me just open it before I go back to my hand cam. Because I legit can't open this on stream because I don't want to dox my fucking ass. Like, sure. Like, Mika, you live in Southeast Asia, but like, fucking hell. I ain't gonna dox which Southeast Asian country I am. My friends, no. But I ain't gonna put it on stream. <sighs> if I if I could open, like, my um, camera to show how bad it is me unboxing things, it's really bad. Uh, I, like, the technique I use, like... Okay, uh, everyone should know about like um, how do I say paper cutters like those things. Like, I have one, but instead of using a paper cutter, I'm using a pair of scissors. But the way I how I'm using the scissors, it's I'm using a single blade from one tip. So there's a chance I might cut myself by accident, but like it's fine. I'm opening it anyways. Like it's opening. Okay, let me see if there's anything that's dogs. Ooh, my uh, other set of keycaps, the novelties. Let me see if there's anything that might dox me from this box. If not, I can just open this um whole thing. Okay, okay, that's there's nothing that can dox me from here. I don't know why they gave me extra packaging for this, but like okay. Um <laughs> I'm gonna get cucked out or called out for having like really um scuff casing the keycaps because this actually looks really um plain. Who knows? Maybe maybe after looking through my tarot, I might change my keycaps um directly on screen. Because I actually think they might look decent on my um black keyboard. A bit plain, but like maybe, maybe. Um uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oh uh, we'll see if we do that. Uh, but for now, right, back to the tarot cards. Um, it's not my tarot cards that came in, it was like my keycaps now. Um! I'm back. <sighs> oh, shit, my, my house is <laughs> That's myself. Uh, yes, yes, um. I got my college contract, hell yeah. Today's a like, day of blessings. <laughs> uh, not blessings, there's some new beginnings. Oh, alright. Um, before I bring back this into the screen, yeah, so I'm set for safety. Where's my crystal necklace? Um, so before I start opening this, let me grab my paper and uh, let me read out what was today's forecast of um my forecast for today. I, I did my seven day um uh, kind of like a weekly read. On a Sunday last last Sunday, to prepare me for this week. Uh, so today is Wednesday. Uh, for my Wednesday per not prediction, but like my Wednesday fortune. Um, the the tarot cards basically. Um, they were Queen of Swords reversed. Um, that's from my Luna. Uh, my. Uh, my Luna Somnia card deck. Uh, I read. Okay, let me just bring them out as since I can. Since I have my hand cam screen, uh, I read from. Oh my god, what's my. Okay, I forgot, it's my guidebook. Uh, I read from. The tarots are from here. Um, the oracles. I, I can't show the. <laughs> I kind of want to show the oracle cards, but not really, because like I use the um, second hand store version of them because I, my hands are too small to um, shuffle this tarot card set. They are, they're kind of big. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, that's why it's hard to shuffle this. like. Uh, I recently watched like the a video that stated like you know don't buy secondhand um tarot card sets and stuff but like um my hands are are, are tiny <laughs> my hands are fucking tiny I I'm, I struggle to shuffle I'm bad at shuffling cards so I'm sorry to the creator I did support I'm supporting you I actually have the authentic one this is the real one um so I use this one this one and like this one I do own authentic tarots. Like this are like oh my god it's not showing on camera. Oh god, um, let me show my leg. All right, I can just move my keyboard. Oh fuck me. Oh shit, my keyboard's fine. Um, but like yeah, these are like the tarot cards I used for my uh, this week's reading. This week's um weekly reading. Uh, it's not a general weekly weekly reading. It's a personal weekly reading. So from this set, I got. Uh, Queen of Swords reversed. Uh, from here, I got a card that says number twelve. Be still away. Uh, be still a while. 
Uh, and then from this set, I got Tranquility. Um, I don't think the cards had a number to associate what Tranquility was under. Um, let me let me look at my um, Discord for a moment. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, I'm still a beginner to tarot, so I'm still learning. Um, these ones don't have- these are oracles. Um, they don't have any number associations, but they have flower and I guess color associations uh, you could go off from. Uh, but anyways, um, from the first set, uh, what I got from, like the insight I got from reading the tarot itself was to align my head and my heart to make balanced decisions. So uh, like talks about about calling the correct shots, balancing between things that I intuitively and logically. So like you know how people say you either think with your heart or you think with your brain. So for today, it states that I have to balance between thinking with my heart and thinking with my brain. Uh, which one is more important by logic? Which one is more? Um, Think by your heart, like think what you have to do, kind of context. So yeah, that's for this one. Um, the following one that came after this, which is the Be Still a While, twelve, uh, number twelve. Um, he associates with um, relax. I, okay, not per se associate, but like the things that I, the insight I got from it was to relax and recuperate. What's the words I got from re looking at it? Uh, I.e. it just means self-care. Uh, and then I wrote a mental note to myself, do not force myself. I'm not forcing myself do to do this. I'm not forcing myself to, you know, stream today. Uh, in that kind of context, I'm not forcing myself. I'm just doing it because I want to do it. Um, forcing myself to stream would be if I'm super tired today, if I'm unwell today, and I still force myself to stream. That that's not self-care. That's forcible work. Um, treating this not as work, so it's fine. Uh, I mean, like, the option I could have done was, like, after everything that just went down just now, I could have just cancelled stream today. I'll, I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I have to cancel stream now and stuff, but um, no, I decided to persevere today. Uh, it's gonna be bad, but yeah. <laughs> uh, life goes on. Uh, life goes on as, uh, as it is. Um, but anyways. Um, so yeah, self-care, don't force myself to do anything. So yeah, that this one talks about that for that for this for, for today. Uh, and for the last card, this one was talking about creating a relaxing space, clearing things. Uh, okay. Mostly it just talks about creating a relaxing space. Um the other mental notes I wrote down was to clear the things in my room and make space. Which I did this afternoon or this morning before I started stream today. So I cleared up, cleared up <laughs> uh, most of my garbage, um, resorted most of my stuff, aligned most of my things today before I started stream today. And um, ironically enough, my new tarot deck came today. My, my True North tarot decks came today. And I'm able to set up my hand cam stream today. I am able to, um, I guess, accessorize my hand my hands, you know, I, I gave myself uh, an ample time, ample time to um, dress up for the, the occasion. Uh, my camera is already preset. I, I managed to even eat my dinner before today's stream already as well. Like a, a lot of healthy things, <laughs> I guess you can say a lot of healthy things. Um, but like, yeah, anyways, um, that's for my two days forecast uh, from Sunday's reading. Um, all in all, um, the final summary message I gave to myself, or I wrote down yesterday before um, today, was to invoke a lot of self-care, make sure my space is clean and organized before doing anything today. And I kept to it, so, you know, the flow energy is good, good, less scuffier than intended to be, but like, you know, we we'll make do with everything here. We'll we'll make do with everything. It, it's gonna turn out fine, you know. It's gonna turn out fine. I don't know. I don't plan these things. Like you know, it's gonna turn out fine, hopefully. But yeah, um, those are like the tarot I did for my weekly reading. Um, the one I showed off on I think Monday. My Monday readings were also all from this tree. So uh, a little background story. 
when I do my weekly reading for this round, um, I used, not per se I used, but like, um, okay, I don't know where to start for this because tarot card readings are not, how do you say, coherent is the word I will use, but not really. Like, coherent is the only word that come, is coming to mind currently. Um, there's some practices that the basic practices you need to know when doing tarot card readings. I don't use those practices 100% conventionally, so it's a bit scuffed when I do my readings. Um, I think I was watching a, a, a video, a, 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 a class video, like a mastery class video by, um, um, uh, I'll say their name. Um, I don't think they'll ever find my um, Twitch channel because I didn't see anything. But I was like watching um, Vanessa's um, tarot, master tarot card thing. I actually paid for it. So like I'm watching her, that video. Um, she said it's something about the lines of intuitive readings. Uh, I'm I'm don't I don't want to be like you know, false false assumptions, but I'm more of an intuitive reader, so a lot of the times um, I used some you know direct meanings from the cards, and on some occasions I interpreted. Okay, not hundred percent. I I read the words. I read what's in involved in the guides, and then I interpret it from there. There are some cards I own that I look at the images and assume, assume for the best for things. Like um, I was doing a practice or like a trial run of with my friend yesterday. Uh, I told her it's like, can I try doing a, one of those um, your past selves reading? Like I asked if I could do a past selves reading on her, and then she was fine with it. Uh, she's one of my other friends that also does tarot card reading, so like yeah, it was fine. Um, She's also not a master of this uh, craft or art yet, but like we, we just do this like for um, fun, you know. Okay, fun is one thing, and otherwise like we're just mildly curious about things and stuff. But like yeah, anyways, um, I I when I did my tarot card readings for my weekly, uh, I used the tarot one one tarot to represent one day each, so seven tarots to represent seven days in a week. Followed by another card, seven cards from here, and another seven cards from here. Um, you can say the oracles, both oracles, these two oracles are the guidance cards. This is something like a prediction card. I use this to predict what might happen or like the forecast of what could happen with the tarots. And the other two here were guidance cards. So um, they both correlate with each other. They talk about finding uh, the right space for you. Um, you know, clearing out things, clutter and stuff, like, just make sure your space is good. Um, Gucci space, you know, very clear, clean space and stuff. My, my space is not 100% clean, but like, it's cleaner than usual, just for this occasion. But like, anyways, um, I'm getting a lot of very sidetracked as per, per usual. Um, not surprising, not surprised, um, I'm always very sidetracked. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna put the cards to the side first while I- because I really want to open the cards. I'm just lay, laying the foundation as per usual. I have another tarot card set, but I'm hesitant on showing the design because currently the one that I have uh, for that set, when I did my um, your past self reading, was using the second hand ones. I do own a, a set of the authentic ones, but I find the second hand ones are easier to shuffle because they're smaller and the prints are gloss based it's not a good idea but my hands are really really tiny uh, i'll show the authentic ones later in a moment uh, because like when i say i'm bad at shuffling i'm say i'm like no kidding i'm bad at shuffling and that uh, it's good it's a good set but when i try to hold it it's kind of messy because um, my fingers are not long enough to grip the whole entire cards and i don't have long nails like those people in those tarot card videos to, you know, get a proper grip on the cards. But like, yeah, anyways. I, I don't like to keep my nails long. But I like I use the keyboard. I'm a gamer. I have to keep my nails like short so I can at least type the keyboard fast enough. But, but I will at least open up the tarot today. Don't. 
don't don't follow how I open this. <laughs> I'm just a very scuffy person. Mm, unboxing stream with me. Ooh, they feel nice. The box feels nice. <laughs> yeah, I already opened this. Oh, oh okay, it's magnetic. Okay. Ooh, they're pretty. Okay. Your intuition is your guiding light. Okay, that's what's written there. Ooh, pretty. Oh, they're interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the guidebook. Um, oh, I think this is a little card from them. Uh, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Then, thank you, beautiful soul, for supporting our creation of true North Terror. We hope this deck brings you into alignment with a deep inner knowing. And that within these cards, you find clarity and meaning on your journey through life's many adventures or loves uh, from the creators. Um, it can't be cursive. Peach and Leon, I think. Wait, no, that's the group. Um, that's the place name. But I don't think that's... Oh, wait, no, no. It is, I think. Like... <laughs> I'm just reading from the box itself. Um, uh, I'll give a summary based on the box itself. It also ra uh, writes, Explore the di diversity and undi underlining- Oh my god, I can't English. <laughs> um, Explore the diversity and underlining energies of our magnificent planet while aligning with the source through the traditional symbols of tarot. Reconnect with your inner wisdom. May your intuition lead the way always. So this is a authentic 78 card set with a guidebook. So like this is the guidebook itself and ooh, that's the ooh pretty. Um let me look through. Let me look through like the book itself. Oh they also stated the location where to pick photo of these things. Very nice. <laughs> life learning, life life observation with their cards. I'm like having in and out just to see the stuff uh, for my school. Um, oh, this is a 2021 um, creation. So this is a relatively early set of cards. Uh huh. Are, the book, the book itself is really nice and compact. Oh, how to use the deck? Uh, mm, guides to be with you during this reading. Ask your guides for a clear message that will most benefit your highest destiny path. Steer away from yes and no questions. Uh, very typical um, tarot card stuff. Uh, while still holding the cards on your hand, knock or tap the card pile several times to spread your energy into the deck. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, give the cards a, a troll shuffle once you're once you feel you are done shuffling, you can begin by pulling your cards, whether it be freestyle or in a specific tarot spread. Fill your intuition and consult the guidebook for further clarification. Thank you. Uh, thank your deck and your spirit guides for your assistance and sight. Cleanse your deck in the manner of choosing cleaning the energy from your city. Uh, when I say I'm a horrible tarot card reader or I'm a very amateur tarot card reader, I... I don't cleanse my decks. Like I, I, they say you're supposed to leave it in the sunlight or the moonlight. Um, I don't do that because I always don't have the time to do it, and I don't play with my tarot cards sing like, every single day. So I, you know, slowly let it cleanse itself. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reason why my some of my tarot card readings are very foggy. <laughs> like yeah. I, I should I should um start practicing um cleansing on my cards. Uh, the major arcana. Um, this one still include um most of the things, but like it's not most of the things, but it's more of a they don't. Uh, it create the pictures, so I, I have to read them directly. Um, mm -hmm. Bishi, are you still there? It's so pretty. 
魚さん。ここですか魚さん。I don't think she's here. <笑> um, <笑> she's here, but she's not here. <笑> um, It was more on the fact that I wanted. Okay, so Sakana san、uh, or Sakana Fishy is basically my tarot card friend. So, like, she also reads tarot.、Um, but we're non professional, we don't、uh, do this in stream.、Um, but,、uh, how do you say?、Uh, I told Sakana about this tarot card set that I just bought.、Uh, I was like, going to show it to her、uh, today, but then, like, she's playing Apex currently with some of our friends. I was just going to. Tell her, like, maybe when she comes back, I'll tell her、uh, again.、Uh, but I was gonna say,、um, for some tarot card sets,、uh, there are cases where you can read things in reverse, but based on、um, the book itself, on how it looks,、um, the, the, right, the right way of reading these things are supposed to read them just face up. So every card is just face up like that. You know, you don't read them in reverse. Usually, when you read cards in reverse, they mean a separate thing. But we'll see. If they come out reverse, they come out reverse. That's how it is. <laughs> But I'm like. t h a t actually did include like, where it's、um, located at. So apparently, this is a photo taken in Sydney.、Uh, Sydney. The f- and then Canada, Colombia.、Um, this is in Indonesia. Bali, Indonesia.、Uh, oh, this is so pretty. New- oh my god, it's Australia. This, this is so pretty though. It's like, this is taken in Australia. Empress. This has to be in Japan. No, it's not. The fuck? Interesting. I'm reading this right. Emperor. Damn, this. This picture is not interesting.、Um, I, don't, I don't think this is like. Hopefully, it's not printed wrong the, on the book, but like. This is in、um, New Zealand as well. Hold up. Okay, the last photo, this photo was in Australia, and then this one's in New Zealand. Damn, I didn't. Like, damn, New Zealand, interesting. So pretty. Look at that. Look at that glass. I'm not sure if the camera's catching it because, like, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my god, the Hierophant card. I'm going to put some lights. Okay, it's a good thing my, my room lighting is good for this case. Oh, okay, you're here.、Uh, yeah, Sakana san.、Uh, sakana. So the cards are actually meant to be read as face up. They don't have a reversed meaning. Like, I'm looking at the guidebook. All their.、Um, So, the guidebook basically states、um, the upright meaning, and then they state like a bunch of other things underneath, like the meaning behind the herofin. Like, that's basically what's included here. So,、uh, for the. What the fuck? Wait a minute. <laughs> Fishy. Apparently, this photo is taken in Singapore. I I don't. Re- yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm staring at the picture. I'm here like. Was there a. <gasps> Wait, oh I, oh, I think I know where this is. I, I think it's in. Okay, um. No, I'll show it to you. Like, I'm, st- I'm going back to playing Apex after this. I can show it to you, like, now. Are you in, like, a queue in Apex? Is that why? Okay, um. I'll show it to you from the start then. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing hardcore terror readings. Okay, are you gonna be playing more? If not, I'll just like, I mean, I guess you'll just be here. <laughs> Dingus. This is the High Priestess card. This is. The High Priestess is really, really pretty. Oh, look. It, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Look. <laughs> Hold on. I love. I, okay. I, I love the fact、um, <laughs> there's a moon and star, and I have a moon and star ring. <laughs> the high priestess card, too. Oh, wait. 
Wait, Riz, wait, Fishy, you remember the start of the year? Your high priestess card from your, um, the black tarot cards? You remember how the high priestess has a veil on her? Look at, um, V3 Mika's design, she has a veil on her too now. <laughs> I, I love correlations in life, like tarot card readings are so fun. Good correlation and things. Well, but any um okay, so for context wise, uh as like I said, uh Sakana and me we both like to read tarot cards for fun and stuff, like um for daily we you know, good intentions, random stuff, like we like to play around with the tarot and stuff. Um you know, we do it in the will of good intentions. Um so I asked for like a a, a a reading. It's not shit, hold up. Is it not visible? Wait, I think I know why. Okay, I think I know why. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think I know why. Um. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> there you go! There you go! Nakana, you can say hi now. I was wondering what happened to the, to the chat too, and then I realized why. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, there you are, Saka. There you- how do I- how do I point this? There you are, Fishy! There you are. Okay, there you go. There you are, Sakana-san. We see you now, we see you now, we see everyone now on this chat screen. Uh, but like, yeah, so, context-wise, um, I asked Sakana-san to do a reading for, um, some things. And then in that reading, they state that my there was a high priestess card as well. Um, I can't pull up the high priestess card because I don't own the tarot set she has. Um, but like yeah, the high priestess in that card was um, wearing a veil as well. So ironically enough, I ended up incorporating a veil into um, Mika's design. I can point at my girl now. Hey. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so. I find it very funny uh, about this, and I didn't- I was like flipping through the thing, so I didn't get to um, look too hard against the cards because I was like, oh, I'm not sure, um, because- how do you say? Uh, when the idea of like there's- okay, okay, um, I'm aware, I'm aware. um, relax, relax, um, because like, I'm- I'm gonna go more in depth when there's someone around that you know, understands the topic, but when the person or like people are not around, I try to go as fast as I can or like, you know, be as bare minimum as I can. It's like as much as I want to be very enthusiastic about something I like or something I'm find highly interested in, um, not everyone is going to be highly interested in it, is what I can say. So I feel bad if I go on and on about something uh, interesting and I like and then they don't get the context behind it too well. So like yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's an interesting correlation that the High Priestess card, um, there's a moon and a star and I have a- I'm wearing a ring currently that also has a moon and a star on it. Um, let's see, uh, one, two, three, okay it's showing here but like one, two, uh, three, three. Okay. Uh, I was counting the number of points on this um, thing. So, uh, three, six, six, eight. So this has an eight point. This star is an eight point star. Uh, my ring is a six point star. It's not an eight point star, but uh, it's like six points. Close enough. I wish this had a veil along with the hermit. <laughs> I see, Sakana, I see. I'm not sure did you, like, did we take a screenshot of what you read for me though? That's the question. But like, anyways. Yeah, so ironic. Um there's a moon and then there's a star and I'm wearing one now. Um I would also like to state that the magician card has a butterfly, but like, you know, you, we don't um think too hard about this. <laughs> we don't think about uh, too hard about it. But like uh fun fact, or not fun fact, but like <laughs> I like to watch those tarot card videos, but um, those pick a uh, pick a card pal videos, so it's funny. Or I find it really funny every time. If I pick a specific pile, and then there's a butterfly. 
um, present in the reading or basically the presence of a butterfly or the just the picture depiction or like just the image of a butterfly on screen. I find it funny because at that point, I it's like a intuitively I know that's my pile already or at least like I've been um, assumptioning that that's gonna be my pile or like I picked the right one because every time I see a butterfly it, it means I picked the right one. It's like at this point I'm very associated with butterflies. <laughs> And then ironically enough, uh, Mika is the butterfly witch, she's a... yeah. So a lot of uh, joke correlations here and there. Uh, when I designed Mika in the first place, uh, there wasn't much of those incorporate ideas. Uh, I only started doing it recently. Um, the veil was only recent. Um, the butterfly thing had been always a thing. Uh, I got the butterfly uh, idea from... It's not from until not hundred percent from until dawn, but the idea of the butterfly effect. So the idea, like everyone knows the meaning of the butterfly effect of like, you know how one flap of the wings could basically change everything. So I like the concept of the butterfly from there, and I incorporated it into Mika's design because in her lore she is someone who permanently changes people's fates. Basically, that's her lore. Uh, you'll get like a snippet of her lore now and then from me in this channel. Um, the full proper lore might come um, from the second channel, but like, uh, not second channel, uh, the VTuber channel, but like, um, take this as like, you know, those behind the scenes things that went into making her lore or like the process of like when I was thinking of making her lore. Um, I'm aware there is also a VTuber who is also, I think, a witch theme. Uh, at first, when I saw her um, design kind of thing, I was a bit put off. But then, like, um, I, f I, 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 you know, I changed the the flow of it all. Um, in a way, I could use this. It, it might sound too similar to her, but at the same time, I believe that whatever I'm doing is different from whatever her character's VTuber lore is like. Uh, for my friends, they know. For the people who don't know, I will not state or clarify who it is because I don't remember the VTuber's name, but I know she's there. Um, I can also disclose to heart because, like, um, it's not that kind of stream today. <laughs> it's not that kind of stream today. We're talking about tarot cards today. <laughs> not tarot cards, but like just in general, looking through cards today. Again, in depth next time. Um, I can't spill all my stories now. <laughs> like, anyways, anyways, anyways. Clears the bad room, clears the bad air, clears the topic away from you. Shush, 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 shush. <sighs> I don't know why. Um, I don't wanna be uh, wishy washy about this manner, but like, I kind of, I kind of wanna, um, wanna. <laughs> I kind of wanna change my key keycap set to my um. Novelty keys? Not novelty keys, but like the, the ones that just came in. Like this is the novelties. Uh, but the actual keycap set is somewhere else. Um, hold on. It's a fishy's nightmare. But like this is actually what the keycaps actually look like. And I kind of want to change them into um, those for some reason. Maybe maybe I'll change it in a bit as a in between break before I I guess I read tarot cards or well, at least do at least a try to read like you know the idea of changing the feng shui of things <laughs> uh, also also um uh, fun fact um I was hugging a plushy earlier on before I started stream so like he's right here with me. <laughs> The, the Genshin Slime Plushie is right here with me. He's sitting right in front of my desk because like I had space and I, I could put him. It's like stress ball, stress ball reliever. Yeah, he's my little stress ball currently. Now he's going back to the corner. He's just sitting there. Watching. I'm not sure is it because of my um, t-shirt sleeve, but like my hands are getting like barely any blood circulation. I think. Just adjust my sleeves again.
I mean, technically... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna button my um, sleeves up while doing this. My room is like technically not that warm, so yeah, I can butter my sleeves up and do this. Oh my god, I'm struggling. <laughs> Mika's struggling too. Wear sleeves. Or button her sleeves. Fucking get in the hole. Oh my god. <laughs> get in the hole! <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. I'm struggling. One. Oh my god, why is it so hard? Hello? <laughs> Hello, sleeve? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Come on. Okay. okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. No, I don't. I don't got it. Streamer spends 10 minutes trying to button her sleeve. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see my ladybug um sleeves now. Yeah, my arms look more well dressed now. <laughs> that that moment. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, okay, actually suddenly my arm feels less stressed. I think my blood my blood pressure was like barely getting into my arms, thanks to my sleeves. I can actually feel the blood flow again. But like, anyways, um, face of cup. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> like, 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 fishy, fishy. Like, my brain is rotting in the sense of like, if my hands were longer <laughs> and thinner, this pose wouldn't be a good bad thing. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like the the male hands, the nail yaoi hands or something? Like this pose wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> like, let me see. I, I I feel like I picked like the right the right shirt to go with this. Because like, man. <laughs> makes the it makes the it makes the rings look nicer. Like, I want to see like what ring is this? Like, it's a butterfly ring. Nah, this is just a Roman numerical ring. Um, I want to do another um divination reading to see about the next Niji um group or something or like the next unit or something you know for some reason like the moment i saw this like it reminded me that i wanted to do that one backlog reading it's just that i didn't uh, wanted to do it or like i didn't know when to do it or what time to do it <laughs> i kind of want to do it after seeing this but like i'm like hmm, we'll, we'll see we'll i mean it's a way to break in the cards i guess like there's there's no necessary idea as to like we will know what's gonna come out. I mean we guessed about the Salomon Sun or it's like one thing, but like man. Because like these cards are mostly um location themed. Yeah, location themed rather than imagery themed. So who knows? Maybe maybe we might get a theme idea as to like where are all these characters from. Maybe we can maybe we can derive from that. Like a locational thing. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. It, it sounds like an interesting thing to break in the cards with. A bit scuffy, but like 
something to break in with. Call me crazy, now I just realized the marking on Mika's face. Um, there, are, there are not crescent moons, but kinda. <laughs> okay, anyways. Not sure if I want to change the background noise to a different noise. Fun fact, um, the background ambience noise I'm playing now is actually two videos. It's not one. It's actually two videos. Like, if I pause one of them now, it'll go like slightly silent. Okay, hold on. Like, if I... Just that. And then <laughs> the shade of the difference. But yeah. Oh. There you go. Okay, um <laughs> what size was that? I <laughs> monkey noises. Monkey noises. <laughs> Monkey noises. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> Let's put it here. Oh. Um. <laughs> Sakana, you know how, like, those tarot card videos we always watch? You know how they always have charms for symbolisms? Like, all those type of things. I'm just gonna be that one person that doesn't have charms or like letters for indication. I'm the one that has a bunch of fucking keycaps. <laughs> Imagine being like, you selected this keycap. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised though. I, I mean like, you know what they say, make do with things, make do with things. Shakes my bag of keycaps and be like, this is the initial that came out. Like, I see from this letter that because of the initials, the only key information that I've said so far about this whole entire thing was there could be a warm theme behind this um, group, upcoming group. The number of cards in here doesn't necessarily represent um, the number of members in the upcoming unit is what i can say it might not represent them but there is a mix in culture which i can sense there's gonna be a lot of cultural mix in this upcoming group but why wouldn't there be um diversity you know diversity um what else can i see um yeah so warm theme very warm theme coming up or something. Uh, could be somewhere around September maybe? The release of the group or at least a teaser or something? I don't know. It's all legit readings and all assumptions. Um, as of what I um, stated when I talked about the locations of where these images are taken from, we have very odd time zones in this unique group upcoming unique group because like all the time zones are very scuffy um they might not be in the same unit group they might be in a whole set but like we might not know who we <laughs> not we might not know but like you, you get the point like it's hard to tell it's hard to tell <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's all. That's all. Okay, I'll just do a summary. Uh, so, even if, if it's not released in September, maybe there might be a hint somewhere around there. Who knows? Maybe they might release the month after September. <laughs> but expect expect a lot of interesting things. Who knows? Uh, maybe one of the one of the character theme. Maybe, again, we have someone who's a peacekeeper. I mean, like, from the 
last one we have is a VSF one, and we also had a detective. Maybe, like I said, the whole royal theme, the knight's theme again, maybe we have another kind of protector amongst the group members. Number four. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I'm thinking like in before another unit, but it's a solo unit again. And okay, I think I'm, I mean like a lot of the times, I think they hinted it before that uh, when I think uh, Loxium debut or something, or maybe it was Noxix debut, they talked about like the members uh, wanting to interact with each other, like wanting to interact, but like they're saying like, oh, you guys shouldn't do that first. You guys should wait until the um, debut first. Then you guys should interact or something. I don't know. What are the chances that... Um, based on the, the reading... Like, this is all alleged readings. Uh, might not 100% correct. Because even my energy today, when looking at this, is a bit jaded. So there's a lot of um, mixed feelings of like... Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. I, so I can't guarantee 100% about this reading, aside from like most of the other things I've said so far earlier on, uh, repeatedly. Um, I was gonna think, I, I don't know, it's something around the lines of the case being... How did I say? Uh, some of the members... Even, uh, not per se, even before they met out for the first time, but it's more of a... It's going to be at least that group, or like that split, because... um, Time zone-wise, I don't know. Time zone feels like it's gonna be a very important thing in this. Like, something to do with time zone. Maybe their time zones are not very good, so like... Correlate. Like, it's gonna affect a lot of things. The full card is coming out. It really is telling me to change topics already at this point. So, no, there's no point in asking uh, more into this. I keep grabbing the full card. Sir, is there something you wanna tell me? Sorry, what what divine message do you have? Say. I'll just do like a random reading. I'll just do a random reading, like whatever um comes up comes up. Um so spirit has to say page of coins and knight of coins. And I was actually shuffling this. And this card's like straight up fell off. I need I need to legit break this cards in because like they're they're rare. It's not their hard to shuffle, but like because they're still relatively new, um, the friction in between the cards are still very um intact. They're not bad. They're not bad cards. They're decent cards. I I held worst. I held worst cards in my hands before. This is our fine. Anyways. Uh, so page of coins, uh, manifestation, financial opportunities, skill, de <laughs> skill development. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Universe. <laughs> Thanks, Universe, for that message. Um, message of new beginnings and inspiration in beginning stages of creative ventures. Your growing awareness of the material realm, uh, aka money, possession, and career, and you are discovering how to turn dreams into reality. Okay, thanks, universe. <laughs> uh, Page of Coins wants to remind you to wants wants you to remain motivated and to begin a project. Clear focus on what is realistic. During this time, you're ready to manifest your dreams and hone your skills. And more skills you have, more dreams you will fulfill. A page of coin can also represent renewed enthusiasm and commitment. Thank you, universe. Okay, great. The magician kind of all here. Uh, I guess um, I'm doing like generic tree card readings. Uh, knight of coins. Yeah. 
Oh, that's good to me. Okay, another uh, points. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, net of coin stands for hard work, productivity, routine, and conserve, conservate, English, conservate, <laughs> conservation, conservation, I barely even see this word in a proper vocab um, sentence. Anyways, um, net of coin follows up from. The dream ventures from page of coins. Okay, that's really um okay interesting. Thanks thanks um for the message. Um Knight of Coins is the workhorse in Thero and is not afraid to do the dirty work. Knight of Coins wants to make sure you have the detailed plan and strict schedule in place. You may view this as a mundane, boring part of journey with partaking in daily routines, obligations and chores. However, it is necessary part of the journey. Um, part of the journey. Taking the conservative approach is how you will blossom those seeds of potential. Okay, so that's not like some major advices the universe is already giving to me. Um, this doesn't have to be um, directed. It's, it's a message directed to myself. Um, doesn't direct to anyone who's um listening. Yeah, I think I think like that's a very scuff way to end stream. But like probably um, okay. I'm curious in doing a uh, final words. I'll do like a very interesting tarot pool, I guess. But I won't be using this one. Maybe I won't be using this um, tarot set. Maybe I'll use my other ones or something. Cause it was like a something on my backlog of like, oh, I want to try something. <laughs> uh, for the magician card, um, magician is the bridge between the worlds of the spirits and humanity, uh, humanity. The act for harnessing power of the universe and channeling it to be utilized on the human plane. You are the master of manifestation, and you contain all elements with you: fire, earth, air, and water. Combine these elements with spiritual energy and. Earthly realms to show the, the sow the seeds of potential outcomes. Start manifesting your goals. Maintain a clear vision because ego is not enough to sustain you. Forge soul connections to your goal and intentions. Use your conscious mind to create your tangible world. Um, I guess it the irony of uh, I mean there's a picture of a butterfly on this way as well. So like since this is like my, my own personal one, like I asked the universe um if I have any questions or not questions but like um something to tell me. Uh, like I said before earlier on, like if I see a butterfly symbolism, usually it is a card directed to me or like there's a heart for direction about it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for this card set. Or at least like uh I'll put this to the side in case, like, maybe I can use it uh, last minute. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. So, before I end stream, I want to try doing a cool on, like, a. Um, like a last message. Kind of like a last message before I end stream. Like, what the universe wants to say to everyone who is tuning in, or something like that, I guess. Um, I use my the with a card. Like, I use this card very often, so like I I know um, one hundred percent I know what's going on, but like, I know how to like more or less like be the shit from it, more or less. Uh, I should have cleansed this beforehand, but like um, it's not like I'm a big person on cleansing, but it's more of a I rarely do like cleansing of anything <laughs> relating to my tarot cards or anything so it's like it's very scuff uh, i'm supposed to they say like i'm supposed to like bask this under the moon or under the sun but like i can't really do anything like that and then like me waving this crystal doesn't 100 percent intel is gonna do anything which just for sure <laughs> oh no, maybe it does maybe it does clean it or something <laughs> but anyways anyway 
Uh, I'm on mute. Alright, I'll, I'll mute the Discord thing. Like, Sakana, Sakana can still hear me, but like, uh, I'll mute the Discord so at least it's like more personal, I guess. Spirits, uh, what parting message can you give to the people who are listening to the stream? Uh, life and afterlife. What kind of message can you give them to depart? To depart with? What kind of message can you give them? Kind of positive. Not positive. Nope. Okay. What kind of positive ish message can you give them? Universe. Some words to depart with. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, that's really scuff. Okay, we'll take you as well. It's all legit readings, everyone who who else is tuning into this now at this hour. It's all legit readings. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I think it's showing up on the camera. Yeah. My intuition tells me that not all of this will be a message directed to you. I can think or I can sense. Some of them might all relate to you, some of them might not relate to you. Take everything with a grain of salt, so I can say. Don't take everything too hard. All messages may benefit you, but not all messages might benefit you. So I'm just going to read all of them out. Um, whichever seems right to you, take those words and Take them to heart, because these are the message from the universe they want to advise you on, or at least mayhaps warn you on. These are all not yes and no um, answers, so you have been warned, you have been told. Uh, remember, um, grain of salt, this is all for fun, this is all... So take whatever, whichever card, the first card on the front here resonates with you. That is me uh, the message for you for whenever you're listening to this, uh, either in the day or you're thinking about this for the next day. Or maybe you're listening to this at the night. Maybe like you're beating yourself over whatever happened on that day. Maybe this might, this message just might um, comfort you, like especially the star one and the page of pentacle one. Like, maybe this too might resonate with the fact of, like, it's comforting for you. I mean, stop, so, like, you know, because this too talks about beating yourself up for things you've done. Or maybe you're worried about things. Like, the star one for people who are worried about something. Uh, this one is, like, if you have made mistakes doing work hours or something. This one talks about over self-indulgence. Um, sassy business. And this one was... You're just a spoiled person or struggling. The spoiled brat, if not, you're struggling. So yeah, basically that's what I got from this. I don't think I don't think there's anything else I can do or eat. Like the only other option I can do is to use my uh, enchanted blossoms to give another final. Um, this is tarot. Uh, this is tarot. Um, those I can. Those are oracles. Um. The blossom ones are oracles. So the oracles basically for those are like self-enlightenment ones as well. So like a hmm, like a, a message for you to take with you as well. Let me think about that. No, let me let me go into silence for a bit to think about it and drink water.
But yeah, so that's your first hand uh, experience having a tarot card reading session with me, Bob. Like the first one, it's a bit scuffed because like uh, it's a new set of cards or new set of um, it's a new set of tarot card design. So like it's hard to say how I should use them, like what I can use them for. Like it's it's hard to decide them yet. The whole idea of the Niji Sanji thing, um, the question with a new upcoming group, whatever it is, like. Um, it's hard to actually use those to predict anything or tell anything is I can all I can say based on using them like if I were to ask that question again with this set of cards maybe there will be a more clear answer but just not with the true north like the true north I think I would use mostly for a locational wise um yeah something I like to do with a location like if I'm looking for like a past life location or like a past life theme or like something around those lines. Maybe I'll use the True North um, tarot cards for like anything to do with like a location or something. Yeah. No, I'm just like looking at the cards again. Like, yeah. Like maybe like if I ever want to do like a time and place kind of moment, um, time place um situation. No, not situation. I can't do situation with these cards. Um, time place and location wait time, look place and location is the same thing hmm well just anything we don't, uh, to do around those lines um some of the the words in the guidebook aren't mm, I can't really embark more information because like some of the information in there is like the very basic information like you'll get from any typical um tarot decks. Like, there's, um, okay, let me see, like, I'm still taking a break, um, ugh, my divine uh, brain cells are, like, dying, so like, I'm just taking a break to let this soak in, I guess. Uh, let me show you my other, this is a hefty one. Like, this is my Lindstrike Tarot's, uh, I, I haven't been using, um, her in a long time because, like, I don't feel any divine connection for now or like the need to use these cards unless um my friends want personal readings now and then if they're attracted to this uh, tarot card set i will use them about open the, the booklets fucking heck. oh god <sighs> like yeah the the cards look like this like this is the tarot card backing and then this is what the cards design actually look like they're all like watercolor based ones I don't feel any um, divine connections using this one for the time being, so like, yeah. They stay uh, they stay in the box with the guidebook, the hefty, hefty ass guidebook. Um, what I was like saying about... I just say, for this tarot card set, they're a bit more unique because each card design was specially made for... Uh, especially made in the sense of like the author was feeling a specific feeling and then they decided to design the card itself to be like that like um okay let me see if i can bring up the card again the one i just now took out um yeah so this is the king of pentacles i'm just doing doing this as an example as i take a break from the divine brain kicking in me um the king of pentacles i don't think i have the king of pentacles in this and i'm don't really wanna look in the bottom. Um, let's see if I can bring a, an image. Actually, you know what? Never mind. You probably can go. Oh, fuck my elbow. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> fuck. So, anyways, <laughs> the King of Pentacles. So, for the King of Pentacles, they designed the card looking like this. Um, the. The actual King of Pentacles card is a guy who sits on the throne or something, like just a king, an actual human king, but instead they drew an owl instead. Uh, there's a lot of other symbolisms in this card designs, like the flower or which, uh, yeah, flower is one of them. Um, key placements like numbers or other symbolic things, like it's part of the design. Uh, in a regular, not regular, but like in a traditional tarot design. Um, 
it might not have this um, similar depiction, but like, yeah. Um, there are like usually other additional things you need to take note of when you're using different kind of tarot sets. So for the turn off ones, I can't use them for like proper full on depictions yet, other than place and um, time and location. I still, I still want to keep saying location. Okay, yeah, I, wait, never mind, never mind, yeah, 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 place, time, and location. Um, place is the area, location is the exact area, so uh, let's think of it like that. <laughs> when I say location, place, time, and location. Like, you know, it could be, you know, like, like it could be somewhere in said place, like the country is there. But then the location is specifically at there with like you know the flowers and stuff. Like, um, let me just grab an example. Like when I grab the hangman card. Like this is no this like I'm just giving an example. This has no correlation to my readings. Um, so number twelve hangman card. So um, from this image itself, we can see the time is in the day, the location, the place itself is in Japan, Osaka, and the location is somewhere in a greenhouse. Like, that's what I can see. Uh, somewhere in a desert-like greenhouse, maybe like, it could be... Like, it's just, it's just somewhere that has a lot of like cactuses and stuff um a lot of desert theme like you can tell this is actually a greenhouse based on like the design well that's why i'm like place time and location yeah like so maybe i might use that for that kind of depiction like ace of wands um yeah ace of wands um uh, another example <laughs> Da, 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 da. Um, so for this one is uh, an S N S W Australia. The time is day, maybe maybe past afternoon. It looks kind of cloudy in the picture. It's still clear sky, but it's not something I would say around twelve p.m. But then again, I live in Southeast Asia. Anything around those hours, like usually, it's Hell. The sun is out. It is fucking hell. But like, you know, it looks like somewhere um let's just say 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Kind of limelight. Definitely not 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Depends on your time zone. Uh, depends on where you live in the hemisphere. But yeah. The location is in a dense forest or something, or maybe on a nature walk, maybe somewhere near a nature reserve or something. Yeah, that's what I only see. Like, yeah, something, maybe I might use it like that. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so that for this set, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna use it for. I don't know. Isn't that what they're called? Nature reserves? Like, you could have, like... Like, it's not showing any animals in them. But maybe there are animals in there. Well, it's like, maybe, maybe, like, you're, you're on a walk there. Or, like, it's a zoo. Could be a zoo, too. It doesn't say where it is. You know, could be a zoo. <laughs> Just interpret it as you see. That's how it works. Use your intuition, interpret it as you see. Um, it's not necessary to follow what the card meaning is. Like, for me, like the only reason why I got like the card was like aside from the fact that I look like Polaroid pictures, um, they're the only card that has a lot of heavy sceneries in the background. I can't really interpret much from the tarot uh, names on those. I'm only getting them for 
their scenery purposes for a majority of the time. The tarot messages are just additional, in my opinion. Okay, um, because I kept to show off my oracles at the same time. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll show it, um, at the same time, because there's only tarots. Um, I have, like, I bought or oracle cards, like, uh, last week or something. They are, um, on their way here. So maybe I will do a, another, um, I guess you can call it, like, a deck review at this point. Uh, bro, like, a deck showcase, I guess. It's literally what I was doing, like kind of like a deck showcase or something earlier on. Like maybe I'll do one of those like random streams, like just to showcase like my new tarot deck set that I bought. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna be a new tarot deck set. It's more of a my new orc card set, so I can like mess around with them on stream. And then similarly, I'll do another um, messages from the universe before like departing and stuff. Kind of, kind of those things. It's fun. Plus, it's a good way for me to practice reading my tarots because, like, I barely have any reasons to read tarot cards sometimes. In the sense of, I'm out of personal questions. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, am I am I cool? Let's let's just see what the universe have to say using my um, enchanted blossoms tarot card. Uh, not tarot card, oracles, oracle cards. Okay, um, universe, what messages can you give us now? What departing messages from the blossoms can you give us before we end today? That's the one. What departing message can you give us? Before we entry. Hopeful. <laughs> Confidence. I'm pulling tree only because my intuition tells me to pull only tree. So this doesn't have to relate to specifically which pal you chose earlier on. This can be a general thing for everyone. So the purpose behind this oracle set is, uh, like I said, it's a self-enlightenment oracle. Like a lot of my oracles are mostly about self-enlightenment things to help you along the way. They are not cards that warn you of anything. They are cards that advise you and kind of like a pick-me-up card set or something. Yeah, they can, yeah like most of the oracles I, ho I have are like advices and pick-me-ups basically this these things are usually done to help you get by in life better like you know it's it's all about self enlightenment when it comes to tarot card readings like we read the fortune and stuff doesn't mean um you know it, it's hard to say um it's not like one of those like oh can you guess the the, the fortune of the upcoming lottery ticket it's not kind of like those things like it's not one of those like oh luck may be on your side reading kind of context it's just there to help you better in life get the best things in life but like, yeah um so this card in general sense talks about self-care the idea of um the words you use in your self-talk so when I talk about self-talk, it's basically words when you say to yourself. Like, you know, calling yourself stupid, calling yourself a um, lot of hateful things. Like, if you're overweight, you call yourself fat. If you're stupid, you call yourself stupid. Like, when you know, there's the feeling of when you call yourself stupid ironically or like as a joke. And then there are th times, there are times when you call yourself stupid because you actually feel like you're stupid in a non-ironic and joke manner. Like, you know, a lot of those negative self-hate kind of things. So when they talk about um, your word choice for self-talk, they're talking about be positive with yourself. So, like I said, self-care. About any of most of its cards anyways. Like, there's not really, like I said, self-explanatory. Everything's there already. Oh well, yeah. I think, I think I'm just going to like end stream now. 
<laughs> uh, I've said what has been said, uh, I've delivered whatever messages that should be delivered to you guys from the universe as the parting words before I end stream today. So yeah, I don't have any other things to say. So yeah, let me just go back to prep screen. <laughs> well um this is a very uh this is like second stream coming back after hiatus um i'm slowly analyzing um things i can do and things i can't do on stream so yeah i'll see i'll see um monday's stream has already been highlighted already i already finished the highlights um this afternoon that's why there wasn't a stream at uh, afternoon earlier on today uh, as well as why my stream was a bit delayed today yeah uh, but yeah, so this, today was a very interesting and uh, experience filled one for me at least. Um, coming forward as a person who wants to incorporate tarot card readings into her streams as well. So yeah. And yeah, yeah. And I don't have much to think. Uh, thank you all for joining for five hours, five, six hours of me doing this. Um, maybe I'll do my gaming stream again um, at some other time. Um, Friday collab stream with um Bishi again. Um yeah, yeah yeah. So I think that's small. I'm not sure if one of my other friends are gonna join us for the Friday stream, but like we'll see. We'll see. I will not be streaming tomorrow on Thursday because I always have a habit of never being to uh, never being able to catch up on my Thursday streams. I always plan things on Thursday, thinking I could stream on Thursday, and it never happens. So my Thursdays are never uh, going to be a day I'm going to be streaming. So yeah, um, don't bother waiting on a Thursday. Um, come back on Friday. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I hope everyone has a nice night. It's already almost 11 p.m. It is time for me to fucking rest. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Nini. -ni.